the uh, tie, we'll now have the camera rolling. We've already checked the sequence to see if it was in the us. And uh, the sequence is clear. This is Dave Dow. And uh, I'm Dave M3 uh, VD8. So over to you, Tony uh, M3 UEL from M3 VD8. Yes, and I'm uh, M3 UEO, and we're introducing uh, D Star for the Selby Ham Radio YouTube page. And D Star is a marvellous piece of technology, and the radio we've got it on at the moment is uh, an ICOM IC2820. Uh, uh, just forgive the camera angle, but uh, I'm just wanting to give you a picture of the uh, of the display rather than the radio itself, uh, just so we can get up close. Of course, you'll see there's a little message bar that comes up. As Dave will, uh, Dave will see when he transmits, there'll be a message that comes up from Dave to my radio, and it'll say something like a "Hi, hope you're well" in the in the bottom left-hand corner. Sensei, VDH returning. That's good. Yeah, don't forget, Tony. Uh, that the live uh, new, and I say new, deep star repeaters in the UK. Uh, the nearest one to us, I believe, is Bowsley, but there is uh, another one at Sheffield. Uh, very good uh, run repeaters, and they're very impressed with the range of uh, the deep star repeaters. I'll let you tell, uh, tell not, sorry, from M3 uh, VD8. Yes, well, that's it, Dave, isn't it, uh, from M3 UEO? Oh, yes, that's it, Dave, isn't it? There was a, um, the Barnsley repeater group have set up uh, GB7. Uh, y, uh, is it YW? GB7YW, I'm sure it is. GB7YW, anyway, set up by the Barnsley Repeater Group, and uh, in the early days, when they started on 70 centimetres, they were having problems with uh, low power devices setting off the repeater and interfering with it. They've got it cracked now. They're up on, I think, 145675 round here on a D Star repeater, and they've been astounded by its range. Uh, astounded by it. So, uh, digital really does uh, deliver the goods. Various organisations are experimenting within the, the ham radio fraternity with D-Star and its capabilities in terms of supporting internet and its capabilities in terms of using it as a modem and there's lots of that on YouTube as well uh, which I'm sure you can have a look around if you type in D-Star on, uh, on the old YouTube uh, network there. Okay, thanks for that, Tony. Okay, well if you want any more information on this system or where Tony and myself are using uh, we have got a deep star page on our website, uh, which will be uh, getting some information on it, uh, hopefully uh, within the next few days. Uh, so if you want to know any more, uh, we'll, uh, you'll be able to find this on uh, www.selbyhamradio.com. And that's the end of this little uh, test. So uh, bye for now from M3 VD8. Yep, yeah, cheers uh, Dave, uh, 73, it's been nice having a quick chat about D-Star with you, and this is uh, M3 uh, UEO, just apologising for the angle of the camera on the radio, I'm just sat awkwardly uh, while I'm filming this, this is uh, M3 UEO, uh, clear of the frequency, 73.